Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking something new that came up on Bitcoin integrated with Counterparty, and that is fair minting. So let's get started with what exactly is fair minting. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to mint, how to buy and sell using the exchange and everything you need to know, which wallet to use, etc. So starting with fair minting, as you can see here on the counterparty documents, you can have a look a bit more in depth, but I will summarize it for you. Basically, fair minting lets users create tokens in a decentralized way. And one person starts a minting and others can join in to create tokens for themselves. And it works like the old counterparty system where users would burn Bitcoin and get tokens in return. And recently, BRC20 and SRC20 on Bitcoin stamps added a twist, basically, where users can mint tokens by just paying a minor fee, which keeps it fair since the creator doesn't earn from it. And minting is decentralized. And in 2023, Joe Looney introduced the XCP20 fair mint model where users sent Bitcoin to a burn address to get tokens. So the tokens were distributed fairly without enriching the creator. So this was actually created already by him. In terms of the design, the goal is to set up fair minting without needing a burn address and to add features like minting with minor fees only or fees paid in XCP token, either sent to the issuer or burnt. And other features can also include a soft cap to include a minimum number of tokens by a specific block height, small token commission sent to the creator for each minting, and customizable start and end blocks. So there's lots of customizability. It's also nice that you can set it up in a way where funds actually go to the creator. So projects and legit projects can actually launch and raise funds like that. So it's really interesting. And I think this could really be the next big thing. Counterpart has been around for a long time, I believe. <clears throat> and as you know, SLC20, BRC20, runes, all these things just blew up on Bitcoin. Obviously, Bitcoin is number one forever. So finding the next big thing on Bitcoin is crucial if you want to make super pro gains. And I think this has a ton of potential. This is by the same team of SLC20, this website, Fireman's. So, you know, it's legit and the team is really, really good. So let me start off by telling you guys which wallet you need to be using. So the easiest and most recommendable one is definitely Unisat. As you can see, um, Unisat is used for BRC20, SRC20, you can use it for everything, very versatile and good interface is easy to use. I recommend you guys to use that. You can connect to the Fireman website <clears throat> directly with Unisat Wallet. And remember, it has to be on SegWit, native SegWit. That's how you're going to be trading all these assets, not on your Taproot address. That is for BRC20, not for this Fireman. Then there's also the Fireman website. Uh, where you can see all the information on minted tokens and so on. But the next step will be if you want to mint tokens. So it's really simple. Either on Fairmints, you go here, you can see and sort the mints by new, trending, first, completed. Here you can see some of the completed mints, like um, Mints, Pepe Fair. These were some of the earliest ones. Or you can go on Fairmints.xyz and you just click on Mint. And here you can also see all the information. As they say here also, make sure to use your SegWit address. There's a service fee of $2 that will be applied for each mint in the transaction. So you can see here what is currently available to mint as well. So now let's go through the process of actually minting what uh, you want to mint. So first step is obviously look for something you think could be promising. Obviously at the moment it's meme season <clears throat> everywhere. So I will, I will look for some meme coins to mint. And as you know, dog meme coins on every chain tend to bump. So I scroll through and I look and I see there's a token here called Fair Dog. It's also really important to look at the supply according to how many mints there are. Obviously, some of them don't make sense. Like, for example, the Scrooge max mint is one and the supply is 500. So if everyone mints one, it's not that many holders. Where in the case of Fair Dog, there's 10,000 max per mint and 100 million supply. So a lot of people would have to mint to get that minted out. And that leaves a very good distribution, which is the same as why stamps did so well. Obviously, it was one of the first SOC 20s, but the distribution was also very good for that. And Fair Dog sounds like it's going to be pro. Obviously, everything's going to be named Fair something. And Fair Dog is going to be number one meme coin, in my opinion. So let's say you want to mint that. It's really simple. You just click on mint. 
uh, you can't see the pop-up here but uh, it will pop up in your unisat wallet and you just sign it and it's about 2.4 dollars uh, fee so you just click that and then once you click sign it'll see it'll say transaction sent to mempool and that's how you know it will be done and i recommend to mint a few times because if you mint just one that's a very small percent of the supply i think like 0.01 percent or something so if you want to have a good amount just keep spamming mint 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 individually i did check with the devs and at the moment the only way to multiple mint is by just clicking it over and over so do that a few times until you've minted as many as you want keep in mind it's two dollars each so every time you click it's two dollars two and a half dollars whatever it is so the next step is uh how do you actually trade the tokens so once you mint you can go to your dashboard on your dashboard you'll see all your asset balances you can see i've minted some fair dog i've got some other assets some people of vandal assets as well shows your existing orders and what you have to do if you want to be able to sell it you have to click on bind to utxo so let's say i want to sell some mystery box which is a token that uh, mike in space tweeted about you click bind to utxo you choose how many let's say i want to try sell 100 you click bind then again you wait for that to pop up in your wallet get popped up i click sign it'll say again transaction sent and then you wait a bit for the transaction to confirm and it will pop up here on your utxo binded assets and if i want to sell i simply click here where it says sell and choose how many sets i want to sell it for for example if i want to sell 100 of these tokens 100 sets that will be six dollars if it's a thousand sets 68 and so on and then you click create sell order also if you want to buy tokens and this is the next step i'm going to be getting into is buying tokens i'm going to go on their homepage, fireman's.xyz you can see here the atomic swaps you can see here what is for sale and you can see pepe fair is currently trending as i would say it's kind of the hottest token at the moment because that is the people that created this site it's their token and it's currently selling for uh, one sat is the for, uh, floor price which in my opinion is quite cheap i think it puts it at uh few million market cap at max not very high i think it has potential to go up and i have bought some pepe fair and to buy all you need to do is find the sell order that you want you can see a multiple ones at one set obviously make sure you have enough in your wallet in bitcoin and then click on buy and you might have some errors coming up and i believe that is because people already tried to buy that order and it's not available but let's say I want to buy uh, this one here. That's $116. You click on buy. You wait for it to pop up in your wallet. So it's popped up in my wallet. I click sign and you can see it says fail to sign PSBT. So that one isn't available. Then let's try a different one. This one, let's try this one here. That's $40. Click on buy again. Wait for it to pop up in your wallet. You click sign and that also failed. To broadcast so if that keeps happening i'd recommend just refresh the page and keep trying with uh different sell orders there's one here of 75 dollars i'm going to try that um i already managed to buy two by just repeating this over and over you see that again failed and it does seem like these uh one set sell orders have been mostly filled so it looks like people are actually buying this and um Seems like none are actually available anymore. So maybe I was just lucky to get the ones at one set. So maybe two sets will be the next floor price. But that is how you buy. Um, if it does go ahead, it'll say again, transaction successful. So that is how you buy it. So it's really, really interesting. This I'm excited to see more things pop up, like in terms of trading volume and things like that. I think this has tons of potential to blow up as well. Definitely recommend you guys to get into it, especially minting new tokens because that is relatively low risk i mean you're risking two and a half dollars per mint and in my opinion this pepe fair i can see that going to decent market cap going up a few x i mean it's a, the first uh fair mint provider one of the first i definitely recommend using fireman's i know the team they're really good from slc pad and in terms of minting a new token i personally minted pepe dog i think that could blow up if uh, Fairman's blow up I can easily see it going to 100 million 
market cap like in the memes in runes and so on so for you guys found this video helpful if you did i would always appreciate it if you can subscribe join my telegram and twitter as well to stay up to date thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time